Dear students and friends, good morning. I am here to discuss the second part of retrosynthetic analysis. In this section, I like to cover the process of applying the retrosynthetic analysis, various terminologies. The application is simple molecule and something more about uh, the terminologies. So, retrosynthetic analysis part 2. Say, in the first part we have seen what is the purpose of, uh, purpose of retrosynthetic analysis and what are the approach towards this in organic synthesis, importance in organic synthesis. Well, now how will you apply the retrosynthetic analysis on a molecule? You know that uh, retrosynthetic analysis cons consists of two parts the analysis part and the synthesis part. Analysis part is a theoretical approach. It is only an imaginary work and the purpose of doing this also you know. Then synthesis is the real work. Now the process of retrosynthetic analysis consists of or can be discussed in two headings. That is one, the disconnection, disconnection, and two, second one is functional group interconversion. Or these are the two main tools that we apply on the analysis part of the uh, synthesis or analysis part of the retrosynthesis. So I want a disconnection, you know, it is the cleavage of a molecule, a bond on a molecule. Then, disconnection and FGA. FGA is functional group of inductor conversion. Let us see disconnection first. Consider a molecule like AB. Now, according to the retrosynthesis, we can disconnect the molecules into fragments. And uh, suppose A is disconnected into is fragments. And uh, this is a sign for disconnection. Sign for disconnection. So here, you may get to two components. A plus and B minus. That is, when a bond like AB is subject to imaginary cleavage, you will get two fragments A plus and B minus. These fragments are called syndons. These fragments are called syndons. Or syndons are the fragments obtained by the imaginary cleavage of a molecule. Then, this cleavage is basically, basically, basically heterocyclic in nature, hetero, heterolytic in nature, a heterolytic cleavage of the bond form, A plus ions and B minus bond. These are called the syndons. Then, this syndon carries a positive charge and this carries a negative charge. Then, depends on the availability of the negative charge, we can again call it as what is called a donor syndon, D O N O R donor, donor syndon and acceptor syndon, acceptor syndons. What is a donor syndon? A donor syndon means a positive, a negative charge entity 
which you can donate a negative charge of the electron. So, all the I2 species formed from the disconnection of a bond carry negative charge which you can donate an electron or negative charge are called donor syndons. While the other one is what we call acceptor syndon. Acceptor syndon where this is able to accept a pair of electron or negative charge. So the syndons, syndons are idealized fragments formed after the or formed by the catalytic cleavage of a catalytic disconnection of a chemical bond. Now, so this can be cleaved in another manner also. That is A minus plus B plus. Here also we get syndons, but the charge you get change syndons. The second one is what is called uh, uh, FGA, functional group interconversions. Functional group interconversions. Then this functional group interconversions are is nothing but conversion of a functional group into another one. Conversion of functional group into another one. These functional group interconversion are also uh, the FGA functional group. So, addition, functional group addition and uh, uh, functional group substitution, functional group substitutions. If J means uh, that also contain, that also include the functional group addition and the functional group substitution, etc. Say, so, for example, say a nitro group can easily converted to amino group in synthesis or in real chemical or in synthesis this can be converted to an amino group this can be converted to an amino group amino group say this is really what we are doing but when you approach in the retrosynthetic manner, we write it as amino group, thus aniline. And which you do? Retrosynthetic, uh, the cleavage, that is FGN, functional group interconversion, which is called an amino group. This is the Retrosynthetic way of writing a real conversion nitrobenzene to aniline. Reduction process. Reduction process. So here it is called a functional group interconversion. One functional group is one functional group is converted to another without the cleavage of the bond. Here, NH2 group, CN grouping, CN grouping, CN grouping or bonding is remain the same. But, nitro group is changed into NH2 group. Such a process of conversion of a functional group into another one without changing, the, without any disconnection is what is called functional group interconversion reactions. The importance of this functional group interconversion is that it uh, facilitates, it gives a suitable, convers, suitable method of conversion of the group into another. So we can advance the synthetic parts. So functional group interconversion Disconnection are the two important tools that we make use the analysis for the completion of the analysis in the two synthetic analysis. 
For example, consider the synthesis of a molecule like this. This is a molecule. This molecule is what is called a benzocaine. 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 This is used as a local anesthetics. Then, how will you synthesize this molecule? Benzocaine, local anesthetics. How will you synthesize? The concept of retrosynthetic analysis will give you the correct starting material as well as the correct route for synthesizing of this molecule. So, this is the molecule to be synthesized. And uh, in retrosynthesis, this is written as what is called a target molecule, TM, target molecule. Target molecule means uh, the molecule, molecule to be synthesized is what is called a target molecules. Now the for the synthesis of this benzocaine molecule, first you have to guide what is called analysis. Analysis part. That is benzocaine. Benzocaine. You want a proper starting material and also want to identify the intermediates formed in this reaction which will help us to uh, give a better method of synthesis of this molecule. Then you can apply the disconnection approach first. Disconnection approach. When you concentrate you can see that there are two functional groups. There are two functional groups. One is the ester group and other is the amino group. Now, we can cleave the molecule at any position, provided if it is reliable. So here, two functional groups are there. You can imagine a cleavage at the CN group or we can expect a cleavage of the ester group. Here, we have to consider the ester group cleavage because this is a assist one. Moreover, esters are formed by the reaction between organic acid with alcohol. Here, the organic acid is para amino benzoic acid and alcohol is ethyl alcohol. So, we can imagine a cleavage here a disconnection here and in generally it is it is uh, it is a practice to do the disconnection followed by the relevant reaction or which which can be sorted for the the real uh, synthesis of this molecule so this is what we call co disconnection co disconnection co disconnection and uh, the relevant chemical reaction is esterification. Esterification. Then you will get it two fragments. The fragments are plus ETO minus. And it's two. We get the two fragments. First fragments, second fragments. Or we call it as what we call syndons. Syndons. The idealized fragments which are obtained by the imaginary cleavage of a bot. Syndon. So this is what is called an acceptor syndon because it is very really electron deficient in nature. Kind is a positive charge, can accept electronic electrons. Here, this is what we call donor syndrome. 
or it carries a negative charge. Since it carries a negative charge, now we can see that you cannot uh, uh, directly obtain these synthons because synthons are highly reactive. But you can make use selective chemical reagents which can generate a synthon or otherwise what is called synthetic equivalence. Another terminology in retrosynthetic analysis, retrosynthesis, the synthetic equivalence. So what are synthetic equivalence? They are generally synthetic reagents which do the function of what is called a synthon, which generate the synthons. Say, hence we can write the synthetic equivalence. This is nothing but para amino benzoic acid. Para amino benzoic acid. Then the synthetic equivalence for the chemical, the substance used for ETO minus is nothing but ethanol. Ethanol. So these are the two chemical reagents needed for the synthesis of the benzocaine molecule. The reaction is what is called esterification reaction. But so this reaction, this reaction we cannot take it as what is called a synthesis synthesis because synthesis involves the uh, starting materials of the starting material should be very common and simple one. Here, ethanol is common, simple one. So this can take as component number one. Component number one. At the same time, para amino benzoic acid is not a simple one. It can further fragmented into subfragments, and this fragmentation can be continued until you get a, a very simple common substance. So in organic synthesis or organic chemistry, a simple substance or common substance is a substance available in a, a substance available in different methods, a maximum of four methods or lesser methods using what is called the symbol say inexpensive material that is A is called a common substance or simple substance if A is available in four or lesser methods from uh, still simpler or inexpensive materials so the ethanol is simple one so ethanol is simple one but this is not a simple one so that we can further go with the, the disconnection on this molecule. We can further go with the disconnection on this molecule. Then we know that uh, this is amino group, this is carboxylic acid group. Say you can introduce, you can apply what is called a, a functional group interconversion reaction. Functional group interconversion reaction for bringing what is called NH2 group. Say, consider this one. Nitro group. Nitro group. A common production of nitro group will give amino group. So, first is a CO disconnection. You will get to one component. And the second is another, uh, say, uh, another component that is para amino benzoic acid which is not a simple one hence we are continuing what is called the process of disconnection and uh, here we, instead of disconnection we apply the strategy what is called a functional group interconversion the functional group interconversion the nitro NH2 group is changed into N2 group and uh, here there is no disconnection CN bond is here CN bond is here there is no disconnection but a functional group is changed into another one. This is what is called a functional group interconversion. Then, still we can see that this is not at all a simple molecule or a nitrobenzoic acid. This is not at all a simple molecule. Hence, 
again we can continue again we can continue the steps other steps that is you nitrate the benzoic acid you nitrate the benzoic acid or pervert benzoic acid you say so carboxylic acid you can see that carboxylic acid is a side chain carboxylic acid is a side chain benzene contain any side chain or aromatic ring contain any side chain can be oxidized to carboxylic acid if the if there exists a carbon carbon bond in it so this can be obtained from what is called the side chain oxidation side chain oxidation of symbol 1 that is ch3 n o2 nitrotoluene this is another this is another say uh, fgi functional group interconversion reaction functional group interconversion reaction that is side chain oxidation or kmno4 oxidation that is here you can see that there are two side chains coh and nh2 no2 during kmno4 oxidation only coh or such functional group where the carbon aromatic carbon is bonded to another carbon atom will alone get to oxidize um, oxidize otherwise all other bond uh, with the hetero atom remain the same so that the nitrotoluene you take nitrotoluene give a kmno4 oxidation we get we will get the carboxylic acid now here this is not at all this is not at all a simple one nitrotoluene this nitrotoluene can also be obtained by still simpler method that is called nitration of toluene nitration of toluene here there is a cn bond disconnection cn bond disconnection and the reaction is nitration nitration the reaction is nitration so we start with the what is called the target molecule then subject to what is called the co disconnection we got the two synthons uh, or the synthetic reagents so we can use this used here are the para nitrobenzoic acid and ethanol so one uh, one uh, so simple molecule is obtained then this on further uh, discussion or what is called further analysis can be converted to what is called nitrobenzoic acid and this is what is called a functional group interconversion reaction where we are using what is called reduction method reduction method so we get a nitro nitro benzoic acid this nitro benzoic acid is again can be subjected to disconnection process where disconnection process where what is called another fgi functional group interconversion the substituents of the benzene ring carbon carbon bond carbon uh, benzene ring uh, can be oxidized to what is called the uh, side uh, carboxylic acid hence uh, you will get this one nitrotoluene this nitrotoluene again can also be disconnected into uh, the toluene where the cn bond disconnection is cn bond disconnection is affected and you will get the what is called the toluene so now the disconnection part is over or the analysis part is over the analysis part is over so the first component is what is called ethanol and the second component is what is called toluene but, but these are two components by mixing these component together we didn't get any target molecule because if this is the analysis part for synthesizing molecule we have to follow the reverse order reverse order that is uh, that is the so called uh, the, this is the analysis part then let us see the synthesis part 
let us see the synthesis part. Here, you have to take what? You have to take toluene. The synthesis part, you have to take toluene. Toluene. Subject to what is called a nitration reaction, nitration process. Nitration. This is synthesis part. Synthesis. Nitration. You will get what is called a nitro toluene. Nitro toluene. Nitro toluene. Then nitro toluene. Now it is subjected to what is called a KMN of oxidation. KMN of oxidation. KMN of oxidation. CH3 converted to carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. Then this carboxylic acid is nitro carbon parabenzo para nitro benzoic acid. This is subjected to what is called reduction. Reduction. You will get the para amino benzoic acid. Para amino benzoic acid para amino benzoic acid then from the second components we have carried out all these organic transformation reactions and we get the para amino benzoic acid now the, the para amino benzoic acid is now combined with the Combined with the ethanol. Ethanol, you will get what is called the target molecule, benzoyl gain. So, this is the synthesis part. In retrosynthetic analysis, particularly in synthetic part, we never write the structure of the viral molecule. We simply write as TM target molecule. So, this is uh, this is this is the better way of synthesizing the benzocaine uh, benzocaine molecule. Where uh, these two are these are what is called various intermediates. That is various intermediate. That is convert nitrogen so toluene nitro toluene then para oxidation para nitro benzoic acid then reduction para amino benzoic acid then combo combination with the uh, ethanol. The target molecule. Then, let us see the remaining portion as our part three video. Thank you.